over half of Djibouti's economy is unofficial. These women sitting on the capital streets keep the economy moving as self-employed money changers. These women exchange a wide range of currencies, which they carry in their bags. Their contents include euros and dollars, as well as Ethiopian beer and local Djiboutian francs. Noura Hassan's been a money changer, or sarafle, for 10 years. She started her business with her savings after her husband's death. Hassan's bank provides the exchange rates. We are aware of the exchange rates because our bank gives us this sheet. It's free. It's through this sheet that we know the exchange rate. Less than half the women in Northeast Africa's smallest country have access to education. However, money changing requires little skill. Medina talks about the benefits of her situation. It's a decent job. It's better than being jobless. You work to earn a living for your children. When you sit here, you have a cash flow. You don't need to beg from anyone working on your own. There's a lot of business for money changers in this working class area. Its businesses sell to international visitors. There are people visiting from Ethiopia and tuk-tuk drivers accept different currencies. As there are no banks in the district, money changers provide a valuable, convenient service. The women, who often carry lots of money, sit together for safety and to give each other help. Zara says this protection works. Whoever steals money does not come to us. They're scared. We are a lot, aren't we? He's not coming. If I'm alone, he'll come. <laughs>